The first step in finding the derivative of f of x equals 5 times the cosine squared of x is to realize that cosine squared of x is just another way to write the cosine of x squared. And when finding the derivative of a cosine squared, it's better or easier to think about to write it in this form. It's a little easier to see that the chain rule should be required when I write it in this form. The chain rule, or uh, the special case of the chain rule known as the general power rule, says that the derivative of any u to the n, in this case our u is the cosine of x, and n is 2, so the derivative of the cosine of x to the second power, the derivative of any u to the power of n is equal to, well, you take the n and move it to the front, times u to the power of n minus 1, but then you multiply by a factor of the derivative of u. So we'll apply that here. Again, u is cosine of x and n is 2. First, we'll take the n to the front. Now, if there's a coefficient there, in this case there is a 5, that's going to stay there. We'll multiply the 2 times the 5 to get 10. Then we'll copy down the u, which is cosine of x, and we'll decrease the power by 1. So the power of 2 gets decreased to 1. And then we'll have to multiply by the derivative of u. In this case, u is the cosine of x. The derivative of u, u prime, is the opposite of the sine of x, negative sine of x. So this is the derivative. Uh, we'll do a little bit of some simplification here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to realize that I have a factor of 10 and a factor of negative 1 in front of the sign. All of these things are being multiplied together, so I'll write this negative factor in the front. I don't have to write the quantity of the cosine of x to the first power. I'll just write cosine of x, and the final factor will be sine of x. This is my final answer. The derivative of f of x equals negative 10 times the cosine of x times the sine of x.